Moving deep into the solar system, NASA's Dawn space probe heads towards the asteroid belt that lies between Mars and Jupiter. Its quest is to try and unlock some of the secrets of the origin of our solar system about four and a half billion years ago. Asteroids and comets are relics of the birth of the Sun, and Dawn's target is a 325 mile wide lump of rock called Vesta. However, what makes the mission remarkable is not the space probe's destination, but how it is getting there. It is using a plasma rocket engine. No heavy chemical propellants, just a stream of electrically charged ions. Electric plasma engines are already part of space technology, but can offer much more in the future. Traditional rocket technology relies on chemical combustion. This provides enormous thrust and acceleration, but comes at a price. Chemical propellants are expensive, heavy, and burn very quickly. A large part of the chemical mass is there simply to lift the small volume that is actually needed once in space. Electric rockets using ionized gas produce much less thrust but use so little fuel that they last much longer, and the constant acceleration eventually results in velocities equal to or greater than those achieved by chemical rockets. This is a key to the future of deep space missions that often last for years. The technology has been around since the 1960s and has a wide but limited use today for example, for attitude control on communication satellites. The basic proven engine works like this. Atoms of xenon gas are pumped into a chamber. A hot electrode fires electrons in, which are energized by encircling magnets. As the electrons collide with the xenon, the atoms become positively charged ions. Electrical potential, created by a positive and negative grid at the rear, attracts the ions and accelerates them out of the back. These positive ions are neutralized by a stream of negative electrons which stop them trying to get back into the chamber and they convert back into xenon. However, new designs are capable of producing higher thrusts. In this plasma engine, an external negative cathode heats up and fires electrons towards a positive internal anode. The electrons are trapped by magnetic coils and spin around the anode in what is called a Hall current. Xenon gas atoms are then pumped in, collide with the electrons and become positive ions. Both the electrons and positive ions that make up the plasma react with the magnetic field and the Hall current and are hurled out of the back of the engine. If we look forward further into the future, then electric rockets start to become seriously interesting. In this concept, hot lithium gas is injected into a hollow cathode. An electrical discharge creates an arc, which positively ionizes the atoms of lithium gas in a circular magnetic field. This accelerates the ions out of the back of the engine at very high velocity. This is capable of accelerating a deep space probe to around 60 miles per second. Though we're near enough to dream of reaching the stars, but certainly fast enough to explore the solar system at a fraction of the cost of existing spacecraft.